So I don't know anyone who doesn't want to hit the ball further. Now a really key aspect of being able to hit the ball further is being able to stretch your muscles and release them. I hate that. <laughs> so um, you see in a, a lot of good golfers, you, you see this big separation between the upper body and lower body at the start of the downswing. So somebody like Cameron Champ or Rory McIlroy is fantastic at this. So this is sort of for demonstration purposes. So you'll see so what happens is they get this stretch here at the top of the backswing. And then as they start down, they then stretch the band. So you can see that band stretching out as I move my hips forward and keep my shoulders behind the ball. And what this does, gives you a stretch and then you can fire. So you see it in, in like jumping, do you know you get this stretch? and then up, it's called the stretch shortening cycle. So all this happens in different parts of the body. So like I say, you get it here, across the torso, you feel that, then that stretch, all these muscles are providing a nice stretch, and then you can fire through. Now the key is, I see a lot of people trying to do this, and they do it too slow, so they get this big stretch. And that's what you find with the ladies. The ladies have an enormous stretch, but they don't apply it quickly so they don't get the force that the males do so what you've got to do is get the stretch and then fire quickly so that happens in the torso like i said but also a really key indicator of club head speed is in the the shoulder joint so what you'll see is guys get to the top like i said they rotate but they keep that shoulder back and what's effectively is happening is this chest is moving in to that lead arm and what that does that creates a nice little stretch around the scap here and then again fires and creates that catapult effect like i was saying with the theraband where you can let go and fire or if we do it right you know really fire that that sling so when we're in isolation there's a couple of nice little drills that you can do so the first one you don't even need a ball to do this so maybe get a club across your shoulders and then rotate to the top and then what you're going to do is this few different feelings you can use for it one I like to do is this left knee goes towards the target as your back stays towards the target so this is that sort of move that might not be a good feeling for some people so another feeling might be you've got a belt buckle that the belt buckle is traveling along this line so it's going towards your left heel if you're a right-handed golfer so you go here and that belt buckle travels back as your hips is your shoulders, sorry, stay here. And that's gonna create that little stretch. You can do this, you know, do, do a few reps at a time. Or if, if that's too difficult, you can actually get a wall and push against it and practice there. And then when you go into the golf swing, you'd then practice doing it like that. And you can do that. Or the other thing for your shoulder is you can do a little drill. Mark Bill showed me this, you get to the top and then put your hand under this lead arm. And then as you start down, you're gonna try and rotate this chest into that lead arm. So you go, so it's only a little bit, but you're really rotating that chest into the lead arm. See too many people when they try this, they sort of drop the left arm behind them and compress it into the chest. That's not the way you want your chest compressing into the arm. So from down the line, that chest moves in to your arm. And again, you can get a club and then practice that feeling of that chest moving in. And I've seen like George Gankers, he'll put like a, an alignment stick on your hands and keeping it up. And that really just helps move that chest into, move that arm, sorry, into the chest. And then what you can do is just progress and do it. I know we talked about doing it fast with speed, but in order to ingrain these movements, you need to build up slowly. So you do, if you're lucky enough, like myself, to have a net in the garden, it's just do nice little slow motion swings where you, you practice that feeling of keeping keeping that back towards the target as you rotate. What that's going to do is enable you to shallow the club and then you can really fire from there and swing through. So from face on, it looks a little something like that. And you get that move and then from here you can really power the movement. And then the other things like, I was listening to Sean Foley and he was saying about... Um, Cameron Champ and he feels like he swings a, a slingshot that all he does is rips his hips hard from the top of the downswing, keeps his back 
to the target and then it just catapults the club head through and that's the real key of generating speed it's, it's quite difficult to learn and if you're not used to it you, you probably get a little bit out of breath i mean it's something i don't do enough of in my swing why i struggle with speed and i can feel myself a little bit out, out of breath when i'm practicing those moves because it's not something i'm used to so try that you, like i say you don't even need a ball to do it you can do it against the wall pushing against and incorporate those two movements and hopefully that'll help you get a little bit more speed while we fortunately can't play any golf.